I am back in Albania. After two years of being here, I decided to go back to the United States to visit my family, do a few other things. And one big thing that I learned while I was there is that living in Albania is better than living in America. For me, at least. After having lived in Albania for the past few years, I've grown accustomed to the driving style here. It can be a bit chaotic and sometimes wild and like, you know, sometimes just reckless. But I learned how to drive with the flow and make things work and it, it's kind of a dance at times. So when I went back to the US, it was a bit shocking to have everyone follow all the rules the exact way they were supposed to. It was quite a bit of an adjustment. My mom picked me up from the airport and as we were driving back to my parents' house, there were certain things on the on the highways that I was kept expecting someone to cut in front of me or to almost hit us as they drove past or these sort of things. It took me a little while to realize that I could relax a little bit more as I was driving in the US. I didn't have to drive quite as defensively. <laughs> it also took me a little while to remember that I really needed to pay attention to the speed limits um, because people don't do that here so much. When I'm in Albania, and most specifically when I'm in Pogredes, I don't hear English spoken super often. So when I do, my ear often like tunes to it, where I think that when someone's speaking English, they're speaking to me, which is not always the case. So when I landed in the Houston airport in the United States, a bunch of people speaking English, mostly people speaking English, it caused my ears to like try to listen to all of the conversations and like my brain was going into overdrive trying to understand what everything, everyone was saying. It took a while to get used to, but then eventually I was able to, you know, tune out some things, but overall it was pretty exhausting. Everything in the US seems so expensive, and if you don't work there, a trip there could really break the bank. I mean, I can understand, like, if you're on an American salary, it's okay, but I'm not. I'm on an Albanian salary which is why I'm very thankful for the help of my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is a platform with which you can support and pledge monthly gifts to your favorite creators. I have four different tiers you can choose from, and with each one you get some unique benefits in addition to helping support my journey in exploring Albania and telling stories. If you're interested in pledging a monthly gift, then I will leave a link in the description below for you to follow. You can even sign up for one month and then cancel if you want. Thank you again to all my patrons. You made this trip to the US much easier. When I first got back to the US, there was this sense of like comfort that came over me because I was back in my home country, so to speak. And you know, I just, you just understand social interactions. You understand the language, you understand the culture. Everything just makes more sense. I knew how to react in various circumstances. I knew what to do in each situation. But after a while, that comfort led to boredom. I mean, boredom or apathy. I try to give myself little micro doses of discomfort throughout my day and my life. And being in a country that I understood the language and understood the culture made that more difficult. You know, and then comes the whole idea of home. The US is by all accounts my home, but at times it doesn't really feel like it. You know, sometimes I just want to be able to go to a place where I just go home, sit on the couch, turn on some Netflix, and relax completely, but the United States wasn't that. Maybe it was that I didn't have my own bed to sleep in, or that I was constantly traveling and visiting people. But it started to wear on me a bit. Albania is home, for now anyways, and I'm not ready to change that. It was nice to visit the United States. It was nice to see my friends, see my family, but I'm not done here yet. So I came back. I mean, can you blame me?